Assalamualaikum. Uh, we are student from UITM Aro Perlis and we are doing our project uh, Bio 330 which is ecology and our topic is about water pollution and now we are at Kasi Ilham. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, do you know what is water pollution or do you have any idea what is water pollution? If you do not know, then let me tell you. Water pollution is any chemical, physical or biological um, changes in the quality of water that affects on living things, um, whether they are drinks, users or live in it. Um, or for short, they are contaminated of water bodies. Water bodies, for example, uh, rivers, lakes, oceans, uh, ground waters or any source of water. Water pollution, first dampping. Dampping is the air of the forced rubbish in the main waterway. Point two, point two is the agricultural off. The activity that lead to the agricultural off is the farm that do not be properly disposed of the animal wastes. That lead to the build up of the ammonia and nitrate in the water source. Next point is the landfill. Landfill, they are not necessarily constant or do not stand up for the modern day. We lead the garbage to seep into the ground and lead to the water sources that cause the chemical reaction. Behind every causes, it has their own effects such as First effect is heavy metal pollution. Heavy metal pollution is the top least inorganic pollutant with wide range of negative effects on aquatic organisms, plants and humans. High heavy metal ion concentrations are also known to damage the cell membrane. Effects heavy metal on human range through severe headache, stomach ache and cause cancer of lungs and liver. In children, it can cause memory loss and make children aggressive. In men, it can damage organ which is responsible for sperm production. Second effect is organic pollutant. Organic pollutant can affect humans, plants and animals, which are dyes, plant and animal pharmaceuticals. They impede sunlight penetration into water bodies and reduce dissolved oxygen. It leads to death of photosynthetic organism and other leaves in aquatic environment. Aquatic leaves may range from endocrine system disruption through the reduction in eggs and sperm cell production. There are few ways that can be done in order to prevent water pollution. First, do not throw rubbish. Find and look for the correct waste bin. If you do not find any, please take it to yourself and put it in your trash can at home. The second way to prevent water pollution is we must use water wisely. Do not keep the tap running when not in use. We can reduce the amount of water usage when buffing and washing. We can significantly prevent water shortage or reduce amount of dirty water. The third way that we can do to prevent water pollution is by not throwing chemical substances, especially organic substances into the water. Separate first, if not, the substances will accumulate and clog into the water and cause water pollution. Okay, now you know what is water pollution, causes, effects and ways to prevent it. Water pollution happens because of our ocean. Water is essential to our body. Without water, we will die. To preserve water, we must change ourselves before we construct a change to our nature. At right, right, right now! now.